Dude, that was one of my favorite records I think we've ever done. Very spiritually charged experience. Yeah. Well, I, honestly, we should just make this a plug. Dude, uh, Marvin Gaye is the record. What's going on? An amazing record. Not much else to say. Uh, there'll be singles dropping on Patreon through the month, but this dropped just Just today. now. Your boy once had an out-of-body experience. 100%. It was, it was a whole thing. Whole 100% thing. almost. Way too good. Go check it out on there. We also did Who's Next uh, last month, so if you want to check that out, all that's on there. Yep. Less than a cup of coffee. Treat yourself. We'll see you. Back to the video. Hey, guys. Hope you're having a great day. It was a great life. Skip the H again. You did. I wasn't going to call you on it. I thought it was just another mess up. No. I hope mess you're having... A... It's called stylistic preferentials. It's true. That is what they call it. That is <laughs> specifically... I'm sure there's a book somewhere that mentions that. Uh, Robert Palmer. As well as a great life is my line. <laughs> um, what song are we doing? Dude, it's called, uh, it's called uh, Bad Case of Loving You in the parentheses, Dr. Comma Doctor. This is an artist I don't think we've hit before, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, I wonder what year this is from. It's from 79. Album is called Secrets and Peep that cover. My dude is shaving. Good year. Yeah, it's a really cool cover. It's a really, really cool cover, especially because there's a lot of covers from like the late 70s that aren't that unique, I think. And I think it's really cool that he's doing something totally God, different. There's a secret here because the dude definitely has that shaving arc, but it shows how he got up there, but it's still hair there. So it's like, did you like shave and then lift and then now you're down here? These are the questions. These are the questions we need to interview Robert Palmer to find out. Dang, dude, I'm trying to figure out the secrets. Well, uh, nice hair. I'm expecting some cool guitar. I'm hoping for it. And uh, let's do it. Let's get it. Okay, cool guitar confirmed. Good voice. Yeah. I love the clavinet. A hot summer night. I feel like a net. I've got to find my baby yet. I need you to soothe my head. Turn my No nonsense rock and roll right there. Is some no nonsense. My issue, little two no nonsense. Ooh. I want to get this rating. <laughs> okay. Thirdalized. Okay. okay, okay. If you feel comfortable.
Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, B. A. Going B on this one. Go right ahead. I think the chorus of this is really, really good. It's my favorite part, probably. My issue is, I think the rest of it is just a little too generic for the era. Mm. Like, if for any... For 79. Yeah, if any other band wrote... Like, any other band could have written this. Like, yeah, it just... It's like that bluesy that. scale with some rock stuff, four on the floor drumming in the chorus, and you just have that, you know, dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Yeah, there's definitely like nothing new here. Sure. Yeah, and for, for 79, sure. like, there's so much cool stuff that's been happening and happened that I think it's okay to have a little bit of that, but... I just feel like this would be one that I would hear and like it, it would never be um, unpalatable to me, but it would also never be, it'd be my favorite thing. Yeah, I definitely think it's trying to think it's trying to be a good cheeseburger. It is a good cheeseburger. Yeah, it's, I yeah, think for be, sure it's a good cheeseburger. They're not trying to give you no gourmet filet or nothing. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> it's just I think that I think, I think the drums like help them do it properly. Like the I think the rhythm. Helps the them. song. No, the song is good. Like every aspect of the song fits well. It's yeah. played well. Uh, I just like if you had me like uh, six weeks from now try to remember anything other than the bad case of love you I probably wouldn't it's not a bad thing though of course man of course none of it's bad it's none of it's right. bad and right. the chorus is really good like I really like that the way he sings it I think the harmonies are cool his voice is amazing the guitar was done well I like I like the aspect that I think I appreciate the chorus of this more than the working for the weekend song where it's like when that happened like I didn't feel super like, i was like okay cool you know it's pointing the songs working for the weekend but like mm. this when the doctor doctor part came back is 11 youth like ooh, that's how you do a chorus where like it i don't know like it definitely took me for a ride i feel like a little bit weirdly i like the other one better i Real. i like the tone of this better like i like the rock elements of this because i'd enjoy more of that rock element but i th even though i wasn't a huge fan of that working for the weekend chorus i think it's a like a better chorus i might have enjoyed it even more than this wow wow Insert Owen Wilson. <laughs> wow. No, it's fair, dude. Super, super fair. Super fair. His I, voice is great. Good voice, voice is yeah. fucking great. I love the... Oh, there also were some elements that were interesting, like adding in the synth throughout it and then having yeah. the clavinet at the beginning, having like the weird little ba like high-end bass thing that was happening as like a little fill that happened every yeah. once in a while in the second and third verses. I like the, I like the, the guitar licks that would happen randomly felt yeah. very like Joe Walsh asking with the Eagles. Yeah, like, for sure. A good, good bunch. I thought, it was, I thought it was proper tune, proper tune. Like you said, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing new, really. Just I mean, this is a straight ahead showing, B banger. Up. Yeah, they're me. showing up. They're, they're like, man, you know what no one's doing right now in 1979? Just doing some good old fashioned which could bar be. bar rock. Like all the other bands in the era, I think we're getting like they were getting a bit whimsical. They're like, yeah, there was some Tom Fuller going on. Yeah, they're like, you know, what we ha you know what I haven't had in a while a good cheeseburger. Yeah, <laughs> That's what it feels like all these like. people are trying to make. I guess crystallized air and they're trying to serve it to me on a cracker that's made from like the essence of gin i'm just gonna give you hamburger yeah yeah anyways well yeah good robert palmer bad case 11 you is he the originator of the arnold palmer honestly dude the brand or the combination the combination definitely not the combination i'm sure the south been doing arnold palmer like way before he was even born I'm pretty sure it's actually from the golfer Arnold Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's the brand was Arnold Palmer. Like he would sell it. Like it was called that. Yeah. Uh, Either way. Mm, sorry, that's just mm, a dumb mm. joke from my insides <laughs> only. Really, that was so stupid. Dope. Well, let us know. Yeah. Let us know where to go next with Robert Palmer. Uh, I'm sure he's got other dope stuff. This is definitely one of his bigger songs. It's probably a little more commercial, less doing cool, like super, super coolness. Let us know if he's got other sauce because I'm down. Yeah, I, and just so you know, Robert Palmer is when you mix milk and lemonade. That's his drink. Oh, that's nice. why I didn't come as a uh, big. Oh, look at this man on this record. Double fun. We got two girls bikinis off. They're in the pool. He's on the side, not with the girls. Weird enough. Just staring at the bikinis? He's he's not like, dang, I've got it bad, but I've got it good too. All right, man. Well, we'll see you next video. <laughs> Peace. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get a good time watching that video, go and upvote the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on the YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff. You can't get on YouTube because they block it here.